In this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to stay motivated even if you don't feel like doing anything right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm coach Simona. I upload weekly videos on how to simplify your life and have great relationships with others. So, if you want to stick around and never miss a new video, hit that big subscribe button below and the bell next to it to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's jump right to this video. Alright guys, before we jump into the three tips that I have for you today, let's take a closer look at what motivation actually is and why sometimes we just don't feel like doing anything at all. We've all had these wonderful moments of sublime motivation, the sweet rush of energy, the feeling like you are the king of the world and anything is possible and nothing is off limits. Yeah, it's a great feeling, but you can't feel motivated all the time, especially if you have problems in your work or personal life. Lack of motivation can happen for various reasons. Here are several of them. You've neglected your physiological needs. You've experienced some form of rejection. You've overwhelmed yourself with decision fatigue. You don't have a detailed action plan or you're feeling depressed. Neglecting your physiological needs can result in poor sleep quality, chronic fatigue and even slow metabolism. There is a powerful link between your mind and your body. So if you don't take care of your body, you're not going to have the mental energy and the go-getter attitude in the world. I've done a whole episode on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs and you can find it in the cards and in the description bar below. It's one of the episodes from the Simplify Life podcast. Let's take a look at what your physiological needs are. Food, water, sleep and shelter. If you don't make sure to meet all of them, you just won't be able to function at your highest capacity. So first, you need to acknowledge what your needs are and meet all of them. The second reason why you could lack motivation is rejection. Rejection, especially in areas in our lives that are important to us, can be absolutely devastating to our health and self-esteem. For example, one day you're living the life and the next day your boss decides to fire you or your significant other leaves you. So you are left with this feeling of emptiness. You feel unmotivated, unappreciated and unworthy. Now, fear of rejection is a whole new breed of animal. I've worked with many clients who are magnificent at their jobs and their personal lives, but they still have this never-ending fear of rejection or losing it all. If that seems like something that you're currently experiencing, there's one thing that I can tell you and I'm sure it's going to help you. This is just a story that your mind likes to believe in. And you're stronger than this and you can overcome it. But what if the rejection that you have experienced was way too real? What if somebody else got the promotion that you were supposed to get at work? That would feel way too real, wouldn't it? In that case, no wonder you won't feel motivated to do anything at all. But by the end of this episode, you'll know exactly what to do. Another reason why you could be lacking motivation is decision fatigue. Imagine that you have a battery with all the decision-making power throughout the day. Every time you make a decision, it drains away from your power. The more decisions you make, the less power you have. Decision fatigue happens when you spend too much energy on things that don't really matter and don't have enough energy to focus on the things that will make a big impact on your life. The more neutral you are to your everyday tasks, the better. At the end of the day, the right shade of lipstick or the cutest outfit won't really matter. By deciding on whether or not you should marry the person that you're with is a decision worth reflecting on. Now, here's an interesting fact. Have you wondered why CEOs of big-time tech companies like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg appear wearing t-shirts in every photo? It's not because they want to look cool. Zuckerberg once shared in an interview 
that he doesn't want to spend time picking what to wear, so he buys only matching t-shirts. Even though it kind of sounds silly to, all right, that, that, that's my reason for wearing a gray t-shirt every day, um, it also is true. Now, let's get to reason number four. You don't have a detailed action plan. If you don't have a step-by-step -step detailed action plan, it will be much harder for you to feel motivated and excited about achieving your goals. I've made a video on how to make an action plan, so you can check that out if you're interested. But for the purposes of this video, I want to give you a short summary of how an action plan can help you out if you don't have the motivation to do anything at all. It gives you a closer look at the problem. It helps you break a big and overwhelming problem down into small and manageable little tasks. And it also gives you structure and helps your brain to focus on taking action instead of looking for problems everywhere. And now we are left with the last reason. You lack motivation because you feel depressed. Depression is not something that can be solved by a video on YouTube, I'm afraid. And uh, when it comes to mental health, I don't believe in quick fixes. So I advise you to talk to a professional if you're feeling depressed and uh, therapy can help you tremendously when it comes to treating depression. So please take the first step to healing yourself. All right, now that we have explored the possible reasons for lacking motivation, let's get to the solutions. My first tip is to get to know your dark side, also known as shadow self. Welcome to the dark side. According to Carl Jung, your shadow self is actually the unconscious aspect of your personality or the traits that you don't want to associate yourself with. So, what's the best way to get to know your shadow self? To acknowledge it, bring it to light and make it conscious. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're an entrepreneur. You wake up every day and you have a lot on your plate and you're also working from home. What happens is you start binge watching Netflix instead or you go out with friends and do exciting things instead of working. In that moment, the part of your brain that prefers short-term gratification prevails over the one that is going to give you results in the long run. In this example, your shadow self or the behavior that you're unconscious of is that you're feeling overwhelmed. And instead of delegating some of your tasks and having a detailed action plan, and executing it, you're distracting yourself and procrastinating as a way of avoiding pain. By bringing light to your shadow self, it will no longer have power over you. Every time you make a conscious decision, you develop self-trust and this will lead to making better decisions in the future. All right, so what's the next tip? Tip number two is to take a personal day off or at least a couple of hours to yourself. I know this may not be possible for all of you, but you have to reconnect with yourself without all the distractions that life has to offer. You need to know who you are without the opinions of other people, without technology, without anything that is going to distract you from your core personality. If you don't feel motivated, then you have probably forgotten how to take care of yourself, but we're going to change that. I want you to do something that energizes you. I'll give you some suggestions, but feel free to do your own thing. You can spend a couple of hours in the park without your phone. You can take a day off and go to the spa. You can catch up on your sleep or take a long bath. Or go to a concert, call a friend and grab some coffee. Tune into yourself and find out what makes you happy. Whatever makes you light up from the inside, do it. And don't worry about motivation. It will come naturally once you realize what's important to you and start taking care of yourself. And my last tip is to have a vision of what you want to accomplish. If you're having a hard time getting motivated, zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Let's say you're a writer, but you don't feel like writing every single day. Let's try a different approach. Let's make a vision board together. Here's how. Collect all the things that you want to accomplish as a writer. It may be to help people, to share your story with the world, 
to be able to afford the things you want for yourself and your family. Whatever it is, find some pictures on the internet and put it in one place. You can make a quick vision board using Adobe Spark. I'll leave it in the comments below. So why is making a vision board so important? Because when you know what you want to accomplish and look at it every single day, your brain will focus on finding possibilities instead of obstacles. When you have a clear vision of where you want to be and who you want to become in your life, you will have the motivation to go after the life that you want. The good news is, it's all up to you and you can achieve your goals by taking one little step at a time. If you want my professional help, book a free session with me using the tool below and we will come up with a plan that will help you keep you motivated and focused on your end game. All right, guys, I have a question for you. What do you do when you lack motivation? Comment down below and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.